Well, Bob, the attitude of this ball club is certainly a lot different than when you joined the club in 1968, isn't it? Oh, it really is. And uh, it's funny because the few veteran ball players that we have from that club were just talking about this the other day. It, uh, it was really an experience playing in the early years, and now uh, we have the confidence and ability to win a lot of ball games. Bob, uh, Norm has installed a new weight program this past year, but of course the weight program is uh, nothing new to you. You're involved in the same thing in off-season work, aren't you? Uh, right, Carl. I own a health club out in California. It's a little different type of program, of course, here with the football team, but uh, basically weights are weights. As you uh, look at the past couple of seasons, I know you've had more than your share of injuries. There are just some types of injuries, though, that you really can't prepare for, aren't there? Uh, that's true. Uh, in fact, the two injuries I've had here at Atlanta were both kind of freak injuries. The thumb injury uh, while I was throwing, I had my arm extended and the lineman ran into me. And last year's uh, hamstring injury, I'd been tackled, was sitting on the ground in kind of a spread position and the lineman hit me laid up on the shoulders and just bent me right over. The fact that Norma said that he's going to work some of the youngsters in the uh, preseason game, is this uh, going to hurt you as far as your preparation for the season is concerned? Well, I don't think so. I in fact, I kind of look forward to a little rest. It's, <laughs> it's a long it was kind season. of a tough road last year. I played just about all the, all the time in exhibition season, and with 14 league games, a uh, little rest comes in handy. Bob, good luck to you. Thank you, Carl. But an average gain of 8.8 .8 yards per try discounts this fallacy. Only Roger Staubach was higher with an 8.9 average. Backing up Barry is the veteran Dick Shiner, second-year man Leo Hart, and the rookie Heisman Trophy winner, Pat Sullivan. Okay.